Welcome back. Today we'll talk about diabetic insipidus. Diabetic insipidus refers to ineffective antidiuretic hormone, which results in inability to concentrate urine. ADH is secreted from the hypothalamus, so if the secretion is decreased, we call this central diabetic insipidus. And it works in the kidneys, so if the receptors are defective in the kidneys, we call this nephrogenic diabetic insipidus. The cause for central diabetic insipidus is basically anything that can damage the brain and decrease the secretion of ADH. The diagnosis is basically made by imaging studies where we see damaged brain or by administering ADH and reversing the pathophysiology of central diabetic insipidus. In other words, if administration of ADH results in concentrated urine, this is the central type. The treatment is ADH analogs and hydration. Nephrogenic type is caused by damage to the receptor of ADH, which can be caused by hereditary receptor mutation or medications such as lithium. The diagnosis of nephrogenic type is made when the administration of ADH does not result in urine concentration. The treatment of the nephrogenic type is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to try explaining each medication as we go on so you can memorize them better. Thiazides are used because even though they are diuretics, they cause concentrated urine. NSAIDs are used because they break prostaglandin, which normally breaks ADH. So NSAIDs salvage whatever ADH we have left. Amyloride is especially effective in lithium-induced diabetic insipidus, and it doesn't hurt to give hydration and salt restriction. And here's a small quiz for you. So how do we conduct water deprivation tests? And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.